The West Highland White Terrier is one of the only dogs whose tail was bred to be strong enough to pull them out of tight holes. They have the boldest personalities of all dogs. They're tenacious. Westies are also great at finding rats in a maze. But can this Westie earn the title Master Earth Dog? Think type A, that's a Westie. All right. Cute and cuddly, yes, but this little character is definitely not a lap dog. They're feisty little dogs. They're like little Napoleons. This mug may be cute to us, but for a critter in a hole, this is the face of terror. Terrier terror, that is. Dogs come from Scotland. They are one of the terrier group that was bred to go to ground and dig out varmints, all kinds of things. Westies are close on the family tree to Cairns, Skies, Dandies, and other terriers of Scotland. Originally bred to clear farms, mines, and large estates of vermin, it wasn't long before this working dog charmed its way into the home. They've really become family dogs. They are adorable. They're as cute as a button. That adorable white coat is the most obvious Westie feature. It's double layered with a coarse outer coat that sheds dirt and debris as it tunnels. A warm undercoat makes it a good cold weather dog. They were developed from Karen Terriers that happened to be white and bred over and over again until they achieved these white dogs. Legend has it the white coat was born out of a tragic hunting accident. A Scottish nobleman, Colonel Edward Donald Malcolm, accidentally shot his red Cairn Terrier thinking it was a fox. So he said, gosh darn it, I'm going to breed a white terrier so I won't accidentally shoot them hunting. Narrow shoulders, rounded ribs, and wide hips give the Westie's body a bullet shape. This shape allows the dog to wiggle out of tight spaces but many a Westie still managed to get into trouble. They would often dig themselves deep underground, and the only way they could get dug out was if they barked loud enough so that people knew where they were, and they'd take their shovels and they'd dig them out. It turned out that so many dogs got stuck in holes that a third unique trait was bred into the Westie, a super strong tail. If they're in the hole and you're trying to get them out, you can grab that tail and you can pull on them. It doesn't hurt them. Generations of breeders developed a tail with a robust bone and muscle structure. The vertebrae at the base of the tail are almost equal in size to the rest of the spine. If necessary, the tail can be gripped to pull the dog out of the hole without hurting them. For Nancy Gauthier, her daughter Mitzi, and granddaughter Kendall, the spirit of the Westie is a family affair. Training Westies for me is kind of like a family tradition. Growing up in a Westie household, we could have 15 dogs in the house at a time. It was kind of crazy. We were lip after that, I just kind of stuck with it. Kendall was next to catch the Westie fever. I just feel so proud for the dog when they get that real big goal. Kendall has been learning the ways of the Westie from Grandma. She is now preparing to enter her dog, Chloe, into a doggy event, which Grandma helped to pioneer. It's called Earth Dog. Nice job. Earth Dog is a reenactment of back in the day when farmers had trouble with the rodents that killed the crops and the Westies were put down the hole to kill the nest and potentially everything in there. The whole idea here is to test the Westies' natural instinct to hunt. How? Well, you dig a system of mazes. At one end, you put a rat. Don't worry, nothing happens to the rat. It's used to scent the query box and then removed. We don't let him get too close to Chloe. Just look at that little face. The Westie is then sent through a hole at the beginning of the maze. Now it's up to the dog to get to the rat scent. Chloe has the instincts of a killer. But does she have what it takes to be a master earth dog? To qualify as a master earth dog, a pooch must get through the maze to the rat scent within 30 seconds and then remain at the scent without backing away for 30 more seconds. I'm really nervous about next week's event. I really want her to get it so we can move on to the next level. 
Kendall and Chloe go for the Earth Dog Gold next on Dogs 101. Kendall and her grandmother, Nancy, are training Kendall's Westie, Chloe, for the upcoming Earth Dog competition. Kendall hopes to impress Grandma, who happens to be a legendary Earth Dog trainer. She wants to back away and work further back in the tunnel. She's not working close. The day of the Earth Dog test rolls around. I think the extra training we did will help Chloe get this next leg. There's not much Kendall can do. It's all in Chloe's paws. Okay. <laughs> Go get the mousies. <laughs> Though she makes it through the maze, Chloe backs away from the rat's scent. Because of this fault, Chloe does not make the cut as an earth dog. But winning is secondary. What's important is how training Westies brings the family together. There's a lot of satisfaction in watching my granddaughter having the same amount of fun out of their dogs that I've always had. It's really special to me because I feel like it's almost my duty to raise Westies. While no two Westies are the same, in general, they do well in most environments. Westies can be in an apartment, but remember, they're not lap dogs. The Westie is a hardy breed that can live up to 14 years. Hip problems and some other health issues are a concern. If you have a lot of sun, they can have problems with the ear tips with sunburn. Training this breed is no picnic. You have to have a little bit of a dog experience before you get one of these Westies. They're a lot to handle. Keeping that double-layered white coat clean can be a challenge. They're going to take a little bit more coat care than some of the other breeds. The Westie is small, so children should be monitored around the dog. But in general, they are good in a family. They make amazing pets, wonderful dogs. Hi, Bucky. The Westie does not like extreme heat. Generally healthy, but susceptible to sunburn on the ears. Keeping the breed's coat in good condition can be a chore, and a strong will makes it a challenge to train. Generally, this is a great family pet. I love Westies. Westies are great. So to recap, the Doberman Pinscher is a newer breed, bred for tax collectors. Well, unfortunately, like a lot of dogs, the Doberman is not generally really used for what it was originally bred for, although I guess nowadays most tax collectors just harass people through the computer. In Hollywood, they earn the reputation as the breed of choice for villains. But American breeders have tamed this breed, and the Doberman today can be much more docile. The miniature Pinscher is not a small version of the Doberman. This little breed's gait has been compared to a hackney pony. It's the result of an improbable mix of the Greyhound and the Dachshund, and its small size masks a bold persona. They tend to be pretty lively little sausages. You know, they run around the place and jump up on furniture. They've got such narrow bones that if they jump off a couch, they could even do like a collie's fracture in their, in their wrist. The Irish setter rocketed in popularity when Presidents Truman and Nixon brought them into the White House. Its unique style of open field running was developed to help it flush game. Today, the Irish Setter is a loyal family pet. Having this, this dog in a small dwelling or in a city environment is not the ideal place, in my opinion. I like to see these guys living free, running wild, and having a great time doing it. West Highland White Terriers look like cute little lap dogs, and they're anything but. They have this really high cute factor going with that little white face, a little beard. Bred to dive into holes and chase varmints, Westies were designed with tails to pull them from underground and a bark to be heard above ground. The whippets are sight hounds. They can see in a 250 degree arc around their body. They also have night vision. They're a delicate looking breed that is born to run. Remember, each individual dog is unique. All may not conform to breed standards. 
If you're adopting a dog, do your homework and choose your next best friend wisely.